What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing a ho oh slash Empoleon slash Grimmsnarl team. Lots of cool mons on this team. Uh, this team was made by Mr. Kurtastic, who just makes Kurtastic teams all the time. I've played Mr. Kurtastic teams on my channel before. In fact, I think I've played Mr. Kurtastic's ho oh teams before. Uh, no one else seems to be building around ho oh. Uh, but anyways, this Empoleon is competitive with an Assault Vest, Rocking Flash Cannon, Water Pledge instead of Hydro Pump so you don't be missing, and also so you can ignore Gastrodon in case you didn't know that does that, uh, and Ice Beam and Vacuum Wave, which is a cool little move to pick off things with Sash. Uh, it's the pretty standard ho -Oh set with Regenerator and Recover for some staying power, but Max Attack for Sacred Fire and Brave Bird, uh, and rocking a Clear Amulet. It's the best item for ho -Oh. Uh, the rest of this team, we got Grimmsnarl for screens to make this team super bulky. Uh, an offensive Terra Electric Life Orb Raging Bolt, which can just do insane damage. And some support mods, a Whimsicott with, for Tailwind and Encore, if you want to go fast mode, though this team isn't particularly fast. And a Rock Ogre Pond, which can do follow me support, and also does good damage. Anyways, I hope you're excited to see Empoleon in action, or maybe Ho-Oh in action. Let me know in the comments which one you came here for. Oh, uh, but anyways, let's get on to the battles. Alright, a Koridon team. Koridon, Fluttermane, Incineroar, Fire Ogre Pond, Tornadus, and King Gambit. ho -Oh goes in. We just have to keep it safe. Which seems like a Grimmsnarl thing to do. Uh, do I want to try to catch the Ensign turn one with an Empoleon lead? I don't know. I think I want screens as soon as possible. Or maybe I want Tailwind as soon as possible. Could Ho-Oh just sweep here? It's got the speed. It's got the power. Huh. Rock Ogre Pond can't touch Koridon. Koridon, I know, is the biggest threat. I know, I want Grimmsnarl, ho -Oh, I want Empoleon. Then I guess it's Electro Furia. You might have a hard time o that with a Koridon, because you can't just Terra Fire Flare Blitz in the sun to get rid of it. Hogerpon is good into like four of those, and terrible into two of those. So I'm not going to bring Ogrepan. It's going to be ho -Oh, Grim, Empoleon, Electro Furia. And they got a shiny ditto, nice. Oh, that's one of those ditto blocks, isn't it? You found a shiny ditto block, that's cool. Fluttermane King Gambit versus ho -Oh and Grim. Sacred Fire into King Gambit feels almost too free. Your only swap into that would be like Incineroar. And I'm... I guess I could Sacred Fire Light Strain. I don't hate that. Yeah, King Gambit swaps. Is it Ensign? Because I was thinking of like bringing out Empoleon and catching that, but like I would have... Ah, it's fine. It's not like the Intimidate does anything. And I can recover any damage back unless you have like Thunderbolt or Power Gem or something crazy like that. Which wouldn't be too crazy. It could be like Specs Power Gem. Oh, it's just Moonblast. We should eat one. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I think I'm now happy to protect Ho-Oh. I mean, if I bring in Empoleon, ho -Oh is not going to take big damage or anything. So I could always pivot Sacred Fire over into Fluttermane. And just bring in Empoleon. So you probably want to finish off Grim. At this point, maybe you don't want to finish off Grim? I don't know. You could prevent me getting my second screen by going Fake Out and Moonblast into Grim. That's why I want to switch. Just in case you pull that play. I would really like to not get hit by, like, a knockoff this turn onto Ho-Oh. 
That would hurt. Alright, Empoleon, come on in. Fake out into Ho-Oh. Ah, that's a critical hit fake out into Ho-Oh. Oh, and a Shadow Ball into Ho-Oh. They called my slap, huh? Alright, well now I threaten both of your Pokémon pretty well. With my Empoleon. I could get Grim in on the Ho-Oh slot, but I like the pressure Ho-Oh is exerting. Maybe I recover since it's mostly free, and throw a... Water Pledge into Ensign? Yeah, Fluttermane swaps. Into Coridon, weakening the water move. Smart. But it's not like your Incineroar can, like, parting shot out. <laughs> and I'm going back up to full health. I guess you could click Knock Off here. And you do. Oh, that does so much damage! Why is your Incineroar so strong? Incineroars are not supposed to be that strong. Alright, uh, let's go back into Grim on that slot, I guess, to heal Ho-Oh. Let's Terra Fairy so we don't get Collision Course in the face. And I'm happy to Ice Beam Core right on here. Just get some chip on it. Uh, and then I want to get a Thunder Wave down on it, but I might lose Grim here, depending on what they go for. If it's just another knockoff, it wouldn't do much to Ho-Oh anyway. It could be a parting shot into that slot, though. Ensign is swapping. Into King Gambit. <laughs> And they are going to tear their Coridon. Okay, big Flare Blitz coming into Empoleon, maybe? I mean, that would hurt a lot. But going after Empoleon at all... I mean, they did ignore uh, the potential for Brave Bird, so this probably is just a defensive Terra. They could, it could still just be Collision Force into Empoleon, which is what I would prefer to see. Because then, like, we trade negligible damage, and I can get Reflect up. Oh! Oh no! Oh, it's Swords Dance! No, no, no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Not allowed. Not okay. Can't freeze you because the sun's up, so I'm not even gonna ask. No, 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 no. Get Thunder Waved right now, please. Please? Okay, Thunder Wave, <laughs> onto you. Uh... Not cool. Not cool, Swords Dance go ride on. Not cool. Vacuum Wave would be 40, 80, 160. It's decent damage into King Gambit. Probably the best damage I can do into anything, really. So I'll click it. That's over half. That's really good damage. Oh, that's a crit. Okay. I didn't expect that much damage. It's a really weak move, and I have no boosts yet. Need to get that Thunder Wave down. That's mandatory. Full para, let's go. And Iron Head is gonna do a... Not all of it to Empoleon, but a lot. Alright, you probably see the Vacuum Wave coming. I can always get Reflect up. And am I faster than Coridon? No. Maybe. Probably not. Oh, uh, I like getting Reflect up. I don't see anything wrong with going for Vacuum Wave. They let me hit it. It didn't KO. Now you can get a double KO here, but that actually gets me in a better offensive position. Sucker Punch fails. Okay, you're not getting no double KO. And another full para. Incredible. Let's Spirit Break the King Gambit. They wouldn't go for another Sucker Punch. I'm gonna Water Pledge at Coridon just to do some damage to it. Yeah, King Gambit's out of here. 
So one of these moves has to go off at least. And we get to finally see if anything's faster than their Coridon. Probably not. Fluttermane Protosynthesis is in speed, as I expected. Another full para? <laughs> oh, Coridon, this is not your day. That's what you get for swords dancing. Come on, man. You can't be scary like that. And the sun is now gone. I would like a Thunder Wave onto their Fluttermane. Maybe they don't want to give me that. I don't know. And then I'll try to Water Pledge Co Ride on here. Okay, we miss a Thunder Wave. Fair is fair. We've gotten a lot of hacks so far. Icy Wind. That better take out Empoleon. It didn't. Oh, you better be take doubling into Empoleon here. Oh, you're in so much trouble if you targeted Grim. You're in so much trouble if you targeted Grim. You're full parried! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> How did they let that happen? Uh, light screen is gone. I'm gonna put that back up for sure. <laughs> oh, I, I guess they're not out of it. Should I Thunder Wave Fluttermane? No, light screen will be plenty. Oh my goodness. I can vacuum wave that King Gambit for absolutely free. I have Electro Furia left, yeah. I think light screen's more important. Vacuum wave super free. Like, I don't think you have protect. Sucker punch went first this time? Oh, because of the icy wind. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, man, I'm throwing out here. I forgot about the icy wind. Oh, well, there was nothing I could have done anyway. I wasn't going to swap that slot for sure. Yeah, if I had known better, I still would have gone for the same play. Yeah, ho on the left because he's too big, and Raging Bolt on the... Oh, Raging Bolt's probably just as big. Now that he's finally on the field. Alright, so Thunderclap at Fluttermane will pick it off, meaning it can never attack. So I'm free to Brave Bird King Gambit. They probably protect Fluttermane here. Uh, they swap it into Instant, that's fine. You do get an Intimidate down now that you knocked off my uh, Clear Amulet, though. But then we just double protect on the Fake Out, and... It's all good. Plus we got Light Screen up. ho -Oh can just take all these hits for days. I guess the better play was Thunderclap into King Gambit, and Brave Bird into Fluttermane. Yeah, that was a better play. How's that reflect coming? I don't I don't want reflect to wear off. Three whole turns of reflect. Oh, we're fine. I'm I'm fine with double protect here. This should be absolutely okay. Fake out was into the bolt, that makes sense, so I can't thunderclap. So you don't need to protect, and moonblast into bolt. Okay. Uh, you don't know that I don't have protect. I think Brave Bird probably does enough to Ensign here. So I will thunderclap the Fluttermane, even though I'm sure they're gonna protect. Like, they're definitely gonna protect, but I don't think it matters. And I think Brave Bird should take Ensign from here? If they're really defensive, it could be close. Now it takes it. Good. Yeah, and now you have nothing. I, I'm gonna thunderclap you, and if you, you have moonblast, shadow ball, icy wind, protect. There's no. Mo you can either keep throwing protect forever, or you can get thunderclapped. You have no choice. Good game. Whew. Fun one. 
GG's. That was definitely a fun match. That, that go right on just... I kind of feel bad for that go right on. Sometimes that happens though. GG's. Alright. Ooh, Shadow Rex, Mind Shao, Tornadus, Rillaboom, Urshifu, and Chi Yu. That's a scary team. Uh, but it looks like a scary offensive team. So we can definitely slow them down with Grim. Uh, maybe we get fake outed. I don't know. It's probably fine. Ho Oh can do great damage into everything. But it would get messed up by Urshifu if it's Water Urshifu. Which it probably is. Water Urshifu doesn't like fighting Raging Bolt. Okay, that's a good combo. Um, do we want our own whim? No. I think Thunder Wave speed control will be good. If they set up Tailwind and then I paralyze them, they'll still be faster though. Then is it Empoleon? Maybe. I mean, we don't do great damage to anything with Empoleon. But being able to take hits from that Chiyu and that Calyrex might do a lot. So much spread, I don't know if Follow Me from Ogre Pond is the way. Yeah, and I, want, I do want more damage. I don't want Whimsic that last. And we've got Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt can do some damage. This should be fine. This should be a good squad. This is definitely winnable for this team. It's probably going to be a difficult match, though. Man, they don't have a trainer card. Uh-oh. They don't like playing for fun. They want to win. Which is why they have stuff like Tornadus Chiyu. Uh, light screen, thank you very much. Could this be a sunny day? Uh, I'm happy to throw a Brave Bird because I can always swap out to get my health back. It's a Rain Dance. Ah, okay. So a Dark Pulse then with Chiyu? Whose speed stat we do not know yet? Well, of course they're going to be faster than Hollow. That did not do much damage. We can heal all that back by swapping. And Chiyu's gone. Bye! Raper does some damage. Nicely done, ho -Oh. Now go right into Urshifu so I can just bring in my Bolt. Oh, uh, no, it's Calyrex. Okay. Don't care. Spirit breaking you. After a Thunder Wave or before? Still no reason to set up Reflect. I mean, Reflect doesn't affect Urshifu, if that's who they have in the back. But wouldn't they bring it in if that's who they have in the back? I'm happy to spirit break the Calyrex and bring in Empoleon should be able to take any hit. Assault Vest behind light screen with a spirit break incoming. Plus you powered up my uh, water pledge with the rain, so thanks. And then if we can focus down that thing, Bolt might be able to clean up. Shiny Empoleon. Here's a Terra. Is it Terra Fairy Draining Kiss? Because that's... A disconnection. Okay. What happened? Something bad? Yeah, you're Terra Fairy. Oh, do you just not like the Empoleon switch? Okay. Weird, but I guess I'll take that as a dub. GG's. Uh, that was not over. Okay, we've got a Co-Rhydon, Fluttermane, King Gambit, Raging Bolt, Incineroar, and Garganackle. Garganackle's a cool pick. I have no spread moves though. Um, alright. Against Koridon, we want Ho-Oh. I mean, obviously we're gonna bring Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh's only threat is like, maybe Garg? Um, maybe Bolt. They don't seem to have much speed control, except maybe Icy Wind Fluttermane. They got a lot of priority. Empoleon could be good. We're Terra Fairy. Not sure how much damage we can really do to Koridon with it. 
I guess we bait the Terra using Grim and ho -Oh, and then Ogre Pond can finish it off. That seems good. ho -Oh just seems great. Yeah, ho -Oh, Grim, Ogre Pond. And then probably Empoleon. Like, Electro Fury is nice, but we're slower than theirs. We're not bringing Whimsicott. Well, we don't know we're slower than theirs. We're just not a very fast bolt. And a lot of things can hit it really hard. So I'm gonna bring Empoleon. Maybe I can save Terra for Empoleon. Maybe not, who knows. But it's good into Fluttermane. And I mean, we have Vacuum Wave for King Gambit. I'm not sure how much that's gonna do. Uh, they have a trainer card, that's good. And they got a fit of some kind, all right. Garg Ensign, I was thinking about leading Empoleon. That's too bad. Could have got that free boost. Alright, uh, I think I just protect ho -Oh. No sense in taking anything unnecessarily. And do I need both screens? Uh, they do have some special attackers, yeah. I'm happy to reflect first. Then I can just start dishing damage out. Though Grimmsnarl's kinda useless here. I wonder if they acknowledge that and just double into ho -Oh. Okay. No fake out at all. A Will-O-Wisp into ho -Oh. And a Salt Cure into ho -Oh. Interesting. All right. Not too worried about that. Um, I can't really touch Garg. I could take some damage and then swap out, get Regenerator, so I'm just gonna stay in here. Maybe do some Brave Bird damage into Ensign. Maybe get out into Empoleon here? That can threaten Garganackle. Yeah, I don't hate that. Because another play they could go for here is some pivoting by parting shotting into the Grimmsnarl slot. In which case, Empoleon would love that. I don't think that's particularly likey, likely, but... Alright, decent damage? Decent damage! Alright, let's recover that off now. Uh, they just stick Will-O-Wisping. It doesn't affect Toho, -Oh, I'm cool with that. Uh, they, they were just trying to call a uh, Terra to get around Salt Cure, which does a lot of damage. But I can get Regenerator and get that off of me by just swapping. And Empoleon's such a juicy target for Salt here as well. So yeah, I'll just swap probably into Ogre Pond. I don't see you going for another one, right? And then you can swap pretty freely on either slot. I don't know. I'm leaning toward Flash Cannon into Garg. Yeah, I want some damage on Garganacle. I want to put both of these in range for Ogre Pond and make them think. And of course, get the Regenerator on home. No way you go for a third Will-O-Wisp into this slot, right? No. Okay, you're swapping Ensign, which is great. That means Ensign has to come back at some point, and that could be a problem. Uh, and there's your Terra. Okay. I've been looking forward to seeing what this is. Ghost. That's a good one. It's pretty neutral to everything I have. I prefer that typing on you, though, rather than, like... Uh, I guess Grass would have been cool. Decent damage, Empoleon. Nice. Alright, and that's gonna do a quarter. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. That didn't do much damage. And your leftovers on the Garganackle. Cool. I have Ice Beam for Raging Bolt, if I want to stay in. Um, they have Co on Raging Bolt, Incineroar. I don't have Light Screen up. I could just go into Grim on the Empoleon slot here. But, I 
I could also finish off guard once and for all. And I think I would switch to Water Pledge just in case Instant comes... No. It would be... If anything comes in, it would be Koridon. Flesh Cannon's fine. This will reduce the amount Salt Cure is doing to me. Uh, I'm a little scared of Raging Bolt. I guess they could double my Ogre Pond. That would be a little annoying. And yeah, I also could have clicked Power Whip for a little more damage, but... Oh, they do protect guard. Come on. Well, maybe it'll be an ele uh, a dragon move. No, it's an electric move. It's an ogre pond. That doesn't do too much. Hmm. Would they try to get out of Garg now? I can see them trying to leave. They bring an Ince in, they're in trouble. Uh, is Bolt more of a problem? Bolt is a little bit of a problem for Ho-Oh, so maybe I should be targeting that anyway. I'll switch my targets. Just because I think they're going to maybe swap. Or I don't want to be caught doing like no damage. So this is, this is what I want to do. I want to Ice Beam and Ivy Cudgel into the Raging Bolt. That should be pretty decent damage. Like, I assume your Assault Vest. We didn't see Booster Energy, we didn't see Life Orb. Assault Vest is one of the most common items. Yeah, Garganacle Swap. Probably into Koridon, but I didn't want to try to read that. Yeah, there's Koridon. Uh, it's not like I could have KO'd anyway. I don't think Ice Beam plus Cudgel or Power Whip does it. Yeah, yeah, all these things happen. But I saw that coming and I'm gonna- That's good damage! Uh, Draco Meteor finishes me off. But now, if your Bolt is still alive, it's severely weakened. Ooh, it's gone. Awesome. That's huge. That opens up Ho-Oh in a big way. Then we don't even need light screen. Oh, and they've already burned Terra. Oh, Grimmsnarl goes crazy then. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Ho-Oh -Oh here. And they're gonna go into Insin, giving me a plus two on Empoleon. Most likely this is a fake out into Ho-Oh and a Flare Blitz into Empoleon. So I'm gonna get free health back onto my Ho-Oh. And I guess basically sack Empoleon, but I guess Vacuum Wave might be able to pick up Ensign. That would be funny. That would be really funny, I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I don't know if it does enough. It is plus two, it is super effective. And it could be really, really funny. Yeah, the fake out is exactly where I expected. Vacuum wave, takes out Ensign, ha 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 ha. Oh, that's so funny. And a Flare Blitz. Cool. All right, now both of my Pokemon can do big damage to Koridon, and we've got Reflect up. Uh, they most likely protect and try to salt cure my Ho-Oh, so I'm just going to protect Ho-Oh and I'm going to Spirit Break the Koridon. Or should I Thunder Wave it first? Um, I would guess this Grimmsnarl is sitting, I think it's got 4 speed EVs when I looked, which would make it 81 speed, which is not faster than even Adamant 252 Koridon. Yeah, I know my numbers. So I don't think Thunder Wave is the play, since it'll still be faster than Grim. We've got two turns of Reflect, three turns of Sun. I don't think we're ever going to stall out Sun. I'm going to go for a Spirit Break into Koridon and a Protective Hollow. 
Because there's no way they're going to take out Grim unless it's like crit flare blitz. Oh, it's a protect Coridon, exactly what I wanted to call out. Now show me the salt cure into Ho-Oh. Spirit Break gets blocked. Salt Cure gets blocked. Cool. Now, unless they're like extremely bulky, I should have a guaranteed KO with Brave Bird. I am max attack. Perfect. So I'm happy to go for Thunder Wave now and Brave Bird. Just to make sure I go first so no crit shenanigans can happen. You never know what a Coridon's fourth move is. The Flare Blitz colli Collision Course is probably obvious. Oh, they have Protect. Could be Flame Charge, which doesn't matter here. Okay, we land the Thunder Wave. Brave Bird should KO them. You would have to be an extremely, extremely bulky Coridon to take a Brave Bird from a ho -Oh. I ran the numbers. Goodbye, Coridon. Thank you for playing. Now, annoyingly, uh, <laughs> this thing's gonna be a nuisance. They're gonna protect every other turn. I need to keep Reflect up. I need to recover. They haven't seen Recover yet. Reflect is gone. I'm gonna put Reflect back up and Recover, anticipating a Protect. They don't Protect! Oh, that's bad. Oh, are they just gonna try to Salt Cure Grim Snarl? That would be fine. Yeah, that's fine, okay. Sun is gone, too. That's not good. Um, what are they thinking? Are they thinking I can recover freely, or are they thinking I need to hit this Ho-Oh? -Oh? They've got Salt Cure, they've got Protect. They might have Recover, that would be annoying. Uh, Thunder Wave doesn't work on them. Sacred Fire can't get the burn. But it doesn't give me recoil. So I want a Sacred Fire. Yeah, they didn't... They didn't protect there. That does a lot of damage. We do over half with our combo. Spirit Break's doing decent damage. Salt Cure, please don't KO my ho -Oh. Alright, we live. 57, down 2. Thirty-two. That does twenty-five damage. We can take one more, and if we land a Brave Bird Spirit Break, we win. They have to pull a double protect here, and even if they go for that, they risk me just recovering. So I'm just gonna go for the Brave Bird Spirit Break play. I'm cool with Ho-Oh going down if it can get a Brave Bird off, because that'll put it in Spirit Break range. Uh, based on, much, on how much Sacred Fire did, it might KO on its own. But like, you've seen me have Recover. I'd probably go for Recover here, in your opinion, right? So you have to go for Salt Cure. But if you get the call right and go for a Double Protect and land it, you win. They don't go for it. Awesome. Brave Bird connects. Almost enough to guard. Now as long as our Grimmsnarl is still faster, we should be able to pick up that tiny little bit. We are still faster. And Garganacle's gone. Okay, it was, ne it was probably never a speed tie. Grimmsnarl's a lot faster. Whew, that was an intense match. Empoleon did great. Grimmsnarl did great. ho -Oh did great. Ogre Pond was there. GG's.
All right, we've got a Koridon match uh, with Chiyu, Fluttermane, Tornadus, Regidrago, and Female Indeedee. They've got Chiyu Flutter. They've got Indeedee Drago. They've got Torn Drago. Ho-Oh seems really good, like so good, into all of those. Ho-Oh is going to be our shining star. We just can't let it get hit too hard too quickly. Which means we want screens. I think screens plus Empoleon is really good. Like that completely walls Drago. Chiyu Fluttermane doesn't want to face an Assault Vest Empoleon. Koridon might think it does, but we can always tear a fairy. I love that. And obviously I want Ho-Oh. And then I think my team's going to be slower anyway, so I don't think Whimsicott does anything. They've got massive speed control, and they possibly even have Indeedee to stop our Encore. Grimmsnarl's going to be a little annoying, but no, because Spirit Break hits all of those for at least neutral or better, and lowering special attack is great on every single one. I love Grimmsnarl. The question is Electrofuria, who isn't bad, and Ogre Pond, who also isn't bad. I don't know. I'm gonna go with Ogre Pond. I'm gonna go with Ogre Pond be Whoa. Uh -oh. It's fine, nothing spilled. Uh, I'm gonna go with Ogre Pond, as I was saying. Oh, that's a How did you get- Huh? <laughs> Flying Duat, I guess. What was I saying? Ogre Pond has Sturdy, and Electro Furia isn't a an Assault Vest set. It's a Life Orb set. I want something that can take it hit. All right, it's our Grim Empoleon versus their Scarf Chiyu and their Koridon. Chiyu is faster than their Koridon at least, which implies Scarf. I like to see that. Uh, I'm gonna go with Light Screen, Terra, do I want to reflect? I don't know which screen I want. I think I'm going to reflect. Reflect Terra Fairy. Ice Beam the Koridon. Because they might think they don't have to Terra. Yeah, they're not going to Terra. Cool. They might think they're not, they don't have to Terra because they can double into Grim. This is still such a scary lead. They have the potential to do insane damage. Whichever target they double is probably going down. If they get the right moves, at least. Heat Wave, which does so much damage. And Collision Course, we should eat that. Oh, it's a critical hit! No, Napoleon! Oh no, that's bad. <laughs> Woo! Well, that's fun. Alright, we've got Reflect up. I, I guess we gotta go to Ho-Oh. Light screen and smack to you in the face? I guess. Do I even want to light screen? Do I want to Thunder Wave Koridon? That seems nice. Thunder Wave Koridon, threaten the Brave Bird, but don't Brave Bird it. Hit Chiyu, then we get to bring in Ogre Pond. We don't have Light Screen though. Light Screen's so big. No, I need Light Screen. Do I think Brave Bird kills Chiyu? It might. I'm gonna go for it. Uh, they don't tear the Koridon once again. Yeah, Heat Wave's gonna pick up Grim, but do very little to Ho-Oh. This is terrifying. And then what can you do to my Ho-Oh? Do you have a move? Uh, you have Collision Course. Are you Choice Band or something? Uh, that didn't do too much. How much does Brave Bird do? KO's the Chiyu in one shot. Wow. We are way too low health now. Uh, we could always do, like, follow me, recover. Uh-oh. It's Regidrago. 
Can't follow me that. But we might be faster, but we're probably not faster. Ogre Pond's probably faster. So an Ivy Cudgel Recover, I think, is in the cards. Yeah. Okay, Collision Course is into Ogre Pond anyway. We're trying to bring me down to as few Pokemon as possible. Uh, we get to see the speed interaction between their Drago and ho -Oh, Unless they just go down to a crit now. Uh, I think a crit- Oh, they're faster and they Draco! Bye! Unwinnable. Oh man, Korydon just did too much- That crit was huge. That Chiyu did so much damage. Oh, good game. Wow. That was- That was more damage than I could handle. I think maybe I could have gone something with Whimsicott, get speed control. Wow. And we are back. You now know how Empoleon does into Coridon. Because we fought a lot of Coridon. Uh, Ho was a good matchup into Coridon, so we could have done better, I guess. Uh, but, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thank you again, Mr. Kurtastic, for making this very Kurtastic team. Uh, and, anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.